hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Shosko and in this video I'm gonna go over the brand new Jogo boss in Legends Rewritten so Jogo spawns in on the second day of summer and the second day of fall on Shibuya Island across from Sukuna and in this video I'm gonna go over all of his brand new drops as well as the brand new magma artifact attacks which are unlocked from the Jogo gear there's also a brand new code in the game, 1k players online, make sure you input this code for 10 free blessing rolls before it eventually expires. Anyways, let's get right into his gear. So first off, the most important item from Jogo is gonna be the Jogo hat. This is the hat that literally unlocks the brand new magma spells, plus it gives a 30% magma magic damage buff, which is very strong, and 1000 HP with 1350 mana, so overall is a very strong hat, plus it is the goofiest hat in the game because you constantly have the gnaw eyed win on your face, which I absolutely love. Another item he drops is going to be the Jogoat shirt. This gives a 30% magma magic damage buff as well, and it gives 1000 HP and 1500 mana, which is the exact same stats as the Infinity Hayori and the Cursed Hayori, so it is very very good overall. He also drops the Volcano Cape, which gives a 15% magma magic damage buff as well, with 900 HP and 1000 mana boost. So it is a little bit worse than the Infinity and Curse Scarfs, but not by a lot. It gives the same amount of health, but it gives a little bit less mana. And then he also drops the Volcano Head. This is like his worst drop. It gives a 15% magma magic damage buff. That's about it. It also gives 800 HP and 900 mana, but it doesn't unlock those brand new magma spells for you. And so in my opinion, it is a little useless. And then he also drops the magma artifact itself, so you can either get this from Jogo or you can get it from Rainford, both sources work. And then the last thing he drops is just the usual Sukuna fingers. So with all that said, let's get into the brand new magma artifact attacks, because they're pretty strong. First we have Disaster Flames, which you unlock at level 90. So Disaster Flames is basically a hold down flame attack. It is very, very powerful. Its only downside is it absolutely drains your mana if you're not using six eyes, so you have to be a little bit careful with it, but it does a ton of DPS. It has just a ridiculous amount of damage, but its main downside, again, is the fact that you need to hold it down, and while you're holding down this attack, you're gonna be immobile, so you can't dash out of the way of enemy attacks. So this won't be very good against bosses that are doing a lot of damage to you, because again, you have to stay in place, you can't move. So the next attack you unlock at level 111, and this is known as Blue Flames. Blue Flames is a pretty decently powerful AoE attack, and basically it just appears wherever your cursor is, much like Cleave from Curse Artifact. Overall, I do think this is going to be the worst new attack from the Magma Artifact because it doesn't do a lot of damage. Like, it is strong, but it doesn't do a crazy amount of damage, so I don't know if you're ever going to be using this over stuff from the Curse or Limitless Artifact, but it is very, very cool, and it is still pretty effective to use. But I do think the Flames attack does do a bit more damage, but then again, the plus slide with this attack is you're able to run around, you're able to dodge after you use it, so you're not restricted to just staying in place. And then its last attack is the main thing, this is the one everyone's been talking about, it is known as Hollow Orange, and you unlock this at level 140. Hollow Orange is to the T Purple Hollow, it does like the exact same damage, it has the same cooldown, it has the same animation except for its orange. So there's basically a way to get two purple hollows now, one is just orange. So there's really not too much to say about this attack, it is by far the best magma artifact attack, it is very very strong, it does a stupid amount of damage, it's cooldown is short, it's literally just another version of purple hollow. So he also has a spec known as the Malevolent Volcano. So the Malevolent Volcano is actually pretty dang strong. It does do a, a lot of damage and his cooldown isn't too long. I'm pretty sure it's either 25 or 30 seconds. But it's basically a combination of Malevolent Shrine and Domain Expansion from Limitless. You freeze enemies within your domain and you just do a ton of damage while they're in there. But his cooldown isn't too long and it just does a lot of damage. But I don't know if it's going to be as effective as something like Super Saiyan because you're not getting a damage buff with it, you're just doing a lot of damage with it. So truly, I don't know if it is that good, but it is a very, very cool spec and it does do a lot of damage. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much everything that was just added in the brand new Legends Rewritten update. One small addition is now Poison and Burn procs now are affected by your alchemy level. So the higher your alchemy level, the more damage those will be doing. But other than that, that is pretty much everything that has been added to the game. The Jogo boss is a lot of fun to farm, plus he's a lot more accessible than Sukuna and Gojo. So he's a good option if those are just too difficult of a farm for you. Anyways guys, thank you very much for watching my video, leave a like if you enjoyed, it helps me out a lot, comment down below what other content you want to see from me, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!